Welcome back to your first couple percussion lessons. So last time we talked about holding the sticks properly, having that nice balance point, and making your first couple strikes on your practice pad. Now, I talked a little bit about this in class, but also what you want to think about is while you are playing, you're not forcing the stick down and leaving it there. You are allowing it to bounce back up. That'll actually make playing back and forth a lot easier. The drumstick naturally wants to bounce back up. And in fact, that helps us with our next idea here, which is the beat. Now we talked about the beat a little bit in class. The beat is the steady pulse of the music, but one beat actually comes in two parts, what we call the downbeat and the offbeat or the upbeat. Now, because you're playing percussion and have a stick that likes to bounce a lot, you can visualize this a lot easier. Look at it like this. Downbeat, upbeat. So down up. Now, when we play, we want to count out the beats as we play. Since we're in 4-4 four, four time, we know that there are four beats in a measure, so we kind of count them like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That was a collection of four steady quarter notes doing the steady beat. Now, remember how we said they are two parts to them. There's the downbeat and the upbeat, or the downbeat and the offbeat. Think of it like you're bouncing sticks. So down, up, down, up. You gotta cut it in half. One way to do this is to count and in between your numbers like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That way you can cut them all individually into order. All right, so the other things you'll need to know before you look at your first few exercises are the difference between a quarter note and a quarter rest. Now we talked about quarter notes in class in basic theory already, and we know that quarter notes are a sign that gets one beat in 4-4 four, four time. But we haven't talked about quarter rests. Well, if a quarter note gets one full beat, one full one and of sound, a quarter rest gets one full beat of silence. We can't be playing all the time. We got to stop playing every so often. So when you see a quarter rest, you count the beat in your head. So you might see quarter note, quarter note, quarter rest, quarter rest. You might play one and two and three and four and. You don't play on the rests. You let you count them, but you let them go without any sound. That should be the first couple notes and rests you'll see. Uh, go ahead, we will move on to some playing examples of your first six exercises. 